Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about implementation of higher order decoder with the help of lower order decoder. It means implementation of 3 cross 8 decoder with the help of 2 cross 4 decoder, implementation of 4 cross 16 decoder with the help of 2 cross 4 decoder, and uh, we can, we'll see largest uh, decoder implementation also. So uh, the discussion about the decoder is already done in the, my another video. The uh, link of the, that video is already given in the description. Uh, so let me start uh, uh, for implementing 3 cross 8 decoder with the help of 2 cross 4 decoder. So here in 3 cross 8 decoder, 3 are our input lines, 8 are our output line. In the 2 cross 4 decoder, 2 is input line and 4 is Okay, so our required decoder is 3 cross 8, available decoder is 2 cross 4. We have 2 cross 4 decoder, but we required for implementing some circuit, we require 3 cross 8 decoder that is not available with me. So what we can do, we have a smallest decoder, we can use that to design 3 cross 8 decoder. So we need to design 3 cross 8 with the help of 2 cross 4 as per my requirement. So how we can do? In the 2 cross 4, we have 4 output lines only. In 3 cross 8, we have 8, we required 8 output line. So, how we can generate 8 output line from 2 cross 4 decoder? If we use 2 2 cross 4 decoder with 4 output line each, it can it can be a 8 output in uh, the in the circuit. Okay, so first we are talking about the outputs. So, how do we identify how many 2 cross 4 decoder are required? We'll divide number 8 by number 4. What is number 8? Number 8 is the number of output line in the required decoder. And number 4 is number of output line in the available decoder. So to find out the, the number of required decoder by dividing the number of output lines in the required decoder by number of output lines in the available decoder. So 2, 2 cross 4 decoders are required. That can be find out why number of output lines 8, why number of output lines 4. So we have 2 cross 4 decoder first, 2 cross 4 decoder second. So when the first output of first decoder are D0, D1, D2, and D3, output of second decoders are D4, D5, D6, and D7. So by combining these, we have eight output lines. Now coming to the input side. In the input side, uh, like uh, in the decoder, we have two inputs like A and B. And in 3 cross 8 decoder, we will be having inputs A, B, and C. Okay, so uh, A and B, are the two input for 2 cross 4 decoder. If two inputs are 0, output D0 will be 1. For 0, 1, output D, D1 will be 1. For 1, 0, output D2 will be 1. For 1, 1, output D3 will be 1. Similarly, we will be having eight combination for three variables in 3 cross 8 decoder and only one output will be high. So how do we design this? So in this, A is our MSV. We will consider this MSV as a as an enable input. It will be behave like an enable input. This is A is the enable input for both the decoder. It is a common input A, but one input is with the do, uh, toggling the input and one another enable input with the direct input. So A is the input, direct input to the decoder 2. A is the complemented input to the decoder 1. So what, what is the role of this? So its role is that if enable input is 1, then only decoder will generate the output. If enable input is 0, decoder will not produce any output. So when A is 0, first decoder will produce the output. If enable, if A is 1, second decoder will produce the output. So only one decoder will produce the output at a time. And exactly decoder works. How decoder works? Only one output should be high for a given combination. And B and C are the two inputs for 2 cross 4 decoder. And these two lines are common to both. So uh, here, if we see, take one combination. Let's see A, B, and C. A is 1. B and C are 0, 0. So this A is 1 and B and C are 0, 0. So when inputs are 0, 0, output decoder, first decoder will be high. Like uh, in this case, D0 will be 1. In this case, D4 will be 1. But only one decoder should be enabled at a time to produce final one output. So it will be decided by the enable input. That is A. If this A is 1, Enable input is 0 for the first decoder. Enable input is 1 for the second decoder. So all the outputs of the first decoder will be 0. And here enable input is 1. So decoder is enabled. And other inputs are 0, 0. 
based on the 0, 0, D4 will be high. And we know 1, 0, 0, for 1, 0, 0, D4 should be high because the decimal representation of 1, 0, 0 is D4. Similarly, let me see uh, implementation of 4 plus 16 decoder using 2 plus 4. So first you divide 16 by 4. By dividing 16 by 4, we require 4 decoder uh, in the output side. So I will draw 4 decoder. 1, 2, 3, and 4. There are 4 decoder and from each decoder we will be having 4 outputs. So total output will be 16. Total output will be 16. Now two inputs are here. In the 4 cross 16 decoder input will be A, B, C, D, 4 input lines and C and D are the inputs, those will be given to the 2 cross 4 decoder and all are common, C, D, common inputs to the 4 cross 16 decoder. Now, uh, we have 4, we will divide it by 4 until we will get the 1 in the last. So, we will divide this 4 again by 4, we will get 1. It means here we required one more uh, two cross four decoder. We required one more two cross four decoder, and those output will be the remaining output that is A and B, and four output of this decoder will be the enable input to the next level. So this is the diagram for implementing 4 plus 16 decoder using 2 plus 4 decoder. First what we have done, we divided 16 by 4, we got 4 output at the output level, uh, 4 decoders at the output level, then we will divide this 4 again with the 4, then we required one more decoder at this level. So we can take one example like 1001. 1001, 1, we know in this case D9 should be high. D9 should be high because decimal representation of 1009 is 1001 is 9. So A, B, C, D, A is 1, B is 0, C is 0, D is 1. Fine. When input A, B are G, 1, 0, so D, consider this is D0, D1, D2, and D3 for the first two plus 4 decoder. So this output will be high. This will be 1, and others will be 0. So other enable inputs are other inputs are zero, enable inputs are zero, only this enable input is one. This enable input is one, it means only this decoder will produce the final output. Other decoder outputs are zero. It depends on the enable input. Now enable input of this decoder is one. C is zero, D is one, zero one, it means it should produce the output high at this point. This should be one. So it is start from D0 to D3, D4 to D7, D8 to D11, D12 to D15. We can see that this, this is D8, so this is the D9, which is high here. Similar way, uh, we can identify for implementation of 8 plus 256 decoder using 4 plus 16 decoder. So in the gate, usually question asks how many decoders are required to implement 8 plus 256 decoder. So, you just divide 256 by 16, we'll divide 256 by 16, it will give us 16. So, it means 16 decoders may be required at the output level. Then again, we'll divide the 16 by 16 because 16 outputs in the book are 16. We will be requiring one more decoder here. The total decoder, 1 plus 16 is 17. 16 plus 1 is 17. For this question, we will be requiring 17 decoder to implement 8 plus 2 p 64.